Hi everyone! Today we're making paintings inspired by Sam Gilliam's Carousel Merge 2. The first thing I notice when I look at this piece of art is its bright and dazzling color. Sam Gilliam was a color field painter. Colored field painting is a specific type of abstract painting, which features large spaces of color. If I look closely at the painting, I see that the artist used raw canvas. Most painters prime their canvas with a white gesso, but Sam Gilliam chose to paint on raw canvas, letting the paint soak into the surface. Most paintings you see in a museum are rectangles in a frame that have four corners. But this painting has a more organic or natural shape. In fact, it doesn't even touch the wall. If we look up, we see it's hanging from the ceiling. Sam Gilliam was the first painter to free paintings from their supports. Instead of the canvas being stretched really tight, it swings and drapes through space like a sculpture. Today we're going to stain and sculpt our own color field paintings. There's a lot of experimentation in play in this project, so if yours turns out differently than mine, that's okay. I'm using water-based markers, color diffusion sheets, a water spray bottle, and twist ties. Color diffusing sheets can be found at craft stores, or you can substitute them for a few sheets of heavy-duty paper towel. First, I use markers to color in large areas of color on a diffusing sheet. I try to completely saturate or fill the sheet with color. I layer patches of color together to create a really complex color palette. Next, I spray my colored sheet with water. I want it to be fairly damp. Then, I spray a new diffusing sheet and press it onto my colored sheet. I fold the sheet a few times, pressing and transferring the ink between them. I can repeat this step a few more times to make more pieces. While the pieces are still damp, I use twist ties to tie their corners together, connecting them. I add more ties, trying to create interesting wrinkles and folds in my surface. Finally, I add small suction cups with hooks to hang my painting. You can play with how it hangs on the wall. I hope you enjoy making your own Sam Gilliam-inspired dyed and tied painting. See you next time.